We always hit the nail on the head. So check this out, my Miami Hurricane fans, my college football fans in general. Now, as you guys know, the season is almost upon us. You know, we're we're getting close or whatever. Nonetheless, I will be in Atlanta for Miami versus Alabama, section 106. <laughs> but anyways, let's get into this top 25. So kicking it off at number 25 on the list, we got Ole Miss. Um, yeah, nothing much to say about them. First game of the season for them will be against Louisville. Um, next up, you got number 24, um, Coastal Carolina. You know, they had a pretty great season last last season or whatever. Because then the third, never knew much about them until last season. So that kind of tell you what kind of season they had. First game of the season for them versus the Citadel. I do think they get that win. Um, Louisiana, the Raging Cajuns, number um, 23. Also had a pretty good season. Um, first Game of the season, though, I do think they will take a loss against um, number 19, Texas. But, you know, it should be interesting. Um, Oklahoma State at number 22, as you guys know, we played them in the um, Cheez It Bowl, end up losing that game by three. But nonetheless, um, 22, Oklahoma State, their first game will be against Missouri State. I think they get the win. Um, Washington sitting at number 21. Um, first game versus um, Montana. I think they get the win on that one. Um, Penn State. Penn State, you know, went into 2020 with high expectations. And basically, they shit the bet. They shit the bet. Ain't no way around it. They shit the bet. Um, Penn State, first game of the season at Wisconsin. I think that's a loss for them. But nonetheless, we're going to pay attention and see, you know, if Penn State could shop the world and turn this around, whatever. I do think they can beat Wisconsin, but I think Wisconsin right now is more of a safe bet. Um, Texas, like I said, versus the um, Louisiana, I think Texas will get that win. Should be an interesting game to watch. Number 18 on the list, Iowa. Iowa, that's, that's tough. Iowa, first game of the season against Indiana. Now, Indiana is also on this list at number 17, so... 17 versus 18, we'll find out, you know, who in that match, whatever, nonetheless. Um, moving on from them, um, the University of Miami, my team, my squad, sitting at number 16 on this list. First game of the season versus Alabama. As you guys know, September 4th, Atlanta, neutral side game, Mer uh, Mercedes State, Mercedes-Benz Stadium, you know. I will be at that game, you know. Hopefully we get the win. Hopefully we shot the world. Hopefully we beat them. Goddamn Crimson Tide. Nobody's on our side. But shot the world, Miami. First game of the season versus, you know, the defending national champions. This is the biggest test for Miami, to be honest with you. Hey, Nick Saban is, what, 14-0 or something like that when it comes to um, openers. So we shall see if Miami can be the one to put a stop to all of that. Hopefully we do. Anyways, um, number 15 on this list, you got Wisconsin. As before, Wisconsin played Penn State. I think Wisconsin and Penn State will be an interesting game. Whoever wins, I don't really care, to be honest with you. Um, I think Wisconsin is one of those teams that will win 10 games all the time, blah, 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 but never really do nothing, never can actually win the Big Ten because of Ohio State. And, uh, yeah, that's tough. Moving on. Um, number 14 on this list, from the Pac-12, you got USC. Um not not sure what to expect from USC this season, but they're, they are being said that they are underrated. So we'll see how that plays out, if they could go in and, you know, win the Pac-12 or whatever, blah, blah, blah. First game against um, San, San Jose State, blah, blah, blah. They'll win that game. Moving on, um, LSU, first game of the season. Well, LSU's ranked number 13. First game of the season is at... Um, UCLA. I do think they get the win on that one. Might be a close game depending on what kind of LSU we see. If we see the LSU from last season, then it's going to be a tough year for them. But I do believe LSU will improve going into this season. How far do they get? Not sure yet. Can they um take a shot at Alabama for that SEC East? Who knows? We'll see. It's early in the season. Um, number 12, you got O. Oregon, the dis Oregon uh, disappointment. Just 
just pure disappointment, plain and simple. They'll they'll do what they do every year, disappoint you. Anyways, um, Oregon number twelve versus um uh, Fresno State. I do think uh, Oregon will get that win. Moving on, um, number eleven, the Florida Gators, aka the Baby Lizards of Gainesville, um, sitting at number eleven. Don't think they really deserve it, but nonetheless, you know. It is what it is. I mean, hopefully this season, Dan Mullen don't make any excuses like crowd noise, you know. <laughs> hopefully his players don't throw shoes around the stadium, you know, stuff like that. Hopefully we, we don't see the Dark Vader thing come out again and all the other clownery that Dan Mullen do, you know. I think this season probably was the best or probably the most regular recruiting cycle for the Florida Gators, you know. Dan Mullen's wife couldn't do too much recruiting. Like, anyways, man, moving on. Um, Florida versus um, Florida Atlantic. Um, as you guys know, Florida Atlantic does have a new quarterback, Nicosi Perry, um, former Miami Hurricane. You know, hit the transfer portal. Now he's playing at Florida Atlantic. Now I don't quite think you know Florida Atlantic has the talent to beat Florida, but nonetheless, we'll see. It might be interesting. I'm rooting for Florida Atlantic. Hopefully they beat the brakes off the Gators. Or just win. <laughs> Anyways, man. Gators will be favoring that. But I would love to see an upset. Um, number 10. Cincinnati. Cincinnati Bearcats versus Miami of Ohio. Um, Cincinnati's coming off a great season. They could have literally been undefeated if they hadn't literally given the game to Georgia. If you go back and watch that bowl game, then you, you'll you clearly see that if Cincinnati don't call a timeout, they, they win the game. They call the timeout to set up Georgia for the field goal. <laughs> That's tough. Cincinnati, do better. But Cincinnati's on the rise. Let's see how long this hike lasts. You know, That's tough. Um, North Carolina, sitting at number nine. So North Carolina, a lot of hype around them. Sam Howell, the, um, those two running backs, they're not there no more. So we shall see if this offensive production continues the same. But they do got some good wide receivers and stuff like that. So we'll see how it turned out for North Carolina. I do think they're overhyped right now. You know, a little bit overrated right now. I mean, y'all going to say, okay, well, they beat y'all, blah, 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 in the third. But if you're a Miami Hurricane fan, you know, you know. It's not the same staff. It's not the same defense, blah, blah, blah. Nonetheless, man, um, moving on from them. Their first game of the season is against Virginia Tech. Now, this game, so far, I think the Vegas line is three. Is that three and a half um, North Carolina win that game? So, they're expecting a close game. Um, me, personally, I don't care who went out of this one. As long as Miami went out in the Coastal, we don't care. Anyway. But this game could be a, a determining factor. So, we'll see. Um, moving on, number eight, Iowa State um, versus um, Northern Iowa. They'll get that win. Um, Iowa State pretty much shocked the world last season. They came out of nowhere. Went into the um, the Big 12 game, unfortunately, and lost to Oklahoma like every other team always do, which Oklahoma had started off the season pretty rocky, and then they, they got it going at the end. But... Iowa State made a pretty good run. Hopefully, we'll see if they can continue to do that. If not, probably fall off like all the other teams does. And it'll be interesting to see the Big 12 teams this season because you know the whole fiasco with Texas and <laughs> Oklahoma. The SEC, you know, running out, showing their power. ESPN behind them. Shout out to ESPN. <laughs> Y'all provided this um, top 25. I mean, I could have got it somewhere else, but it don't matter. Anyway, moving on, man. Um, Notre Dame. Now, I do think Notre Dame being at number seven is quite overrated. But nonetheless, it is what it is. I don't make these polls. I'm just reporting what, what's on here. So, Notre Dame sitting at number seven. First game of the season, Florida State. I think Florida State is literally terrible. Seriously. So terrible. Absolutely terrible. Garbage. What's that word that, um, man, they're just trash. Anyway, um, yeah, I think Notre Dame gets the win against Florida State easily. Um, Notre Dame lost a lot of guys on, um, offense. Ain't gonna lie. 
Um, Ian Books is no longer there. He got drafted, blah, blah, blah. So, I think Notre Dame is overrated as usual. They'll make it into the playoffs if without playing a um, conference championship, whatever, if they're almost undefeated at the end of the year. And they'll get beat. They'll get beat again. And same old, same old. Moving on from Notre Dame, overrated. Um, number six, Texas A&M. Now, Texas A&M, first game of the season versus Kansas State. They'll get a win. Um, Texas A&M, Jimbo Fisher is talking. Recently, they were talking about beating Nick Saban. Jimbo said he's not waiting for Nick Saban to retire. He's going to beat his ass. He's going to beat his ass while he's at Alabama. So, it's going to be interesting, man, to see Texas A&M versus Alabama this year. That's tough. That's tough. I, I can't wait. Nick Saban versus Jimbo Fisher. Who y'all think going to win that? Let me know in the comment section. Um, Georgia sitting at number five. The usual. The usual. It's, it's, it's the usual. Georgia's a top ten team year in and year out. And then they choke. They always choke. They never win nothing. They're... They're the New Year's Six Bowl team of the century. No championship, but we made it to a six. We, we made it to a New Year's Six. We won ten games or more. That's Georgia. Yay. Yay. No natty, but we won a New Year's Bowl game. We didn't win the SEC or anything like that, but, you know, Second fiddle to whoever ends up winning in the um, SEC. That's tough. That's tough. First game of the season for Georgia, um, Clemson. I'm going with Clemson on this one. Um, Georgia hasn't done anything in a big game to prove to me that they're they going to win this game. I think Dabo Sweeney is a better coach than Kirby Smart or Kirby Dumb, whatever you want to call him. Can't pick a quarterback. Don't know talent. Get talent, but don't know talent. You know, Georgia is a top five recruiting class almost year in and year out. Just can't win. Just can't win. That's tough. Moving on from Georgia. Um, sitting at number four on this list, you got Ohio State. The Buckeyes. The Thieves. 2002, you know, paid off the referee. You know, that Ohio State. Their first game of the season is at Minnesota. I think they get a win. Minnesota was, the year before last, was showing a little improvement, showing a little stride, and then last season they just fell on their face. No excuse for them. Don't don't talk about COVID-19 because every team had to deal with it. Minnesota, no faith in you guys. Ohio State get the win easily, I think. It'll be interesting to see. Ohio State replace quarterback Justin Fields. So, nonetheless, this might not be the year for Ohio State, but don't count them out. They've been to the playoffs. They've been in, you know, contention for the past couple of years or whatever. So, it is what it is. Moving on. Um, Oklahoma sitting at number three. Like I said, started the year rough last season. Then, boom, picked up, you know, Won the um, Big 12 as usual. I think they won the Big 12 for the past six, six seasons or so. So that's tough. Um, first game at Tulane, easy win, blow them out, moving on. Um, number two in the country, Clemson. First game of the season versus Georgia Bulldog. I already told you guys I'm going with Clemson on this one. Prime time, September 4th, um, 7.30, um, basically right after Alabama versus Miami. I will be watching that game. I'm rooting for Clemson. I'm not an ACC homer. I just got some money on these games, and I got some trolling to do. So that's tough. That's tough. I'm going with Clemson. Sticking to it. Hopefully, DJ Ukulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegulegul
Alabama first game against my Miami Hurricane. They will lose that game. That's tough for Alabama to drop from number one to wherever they drop after my Miami Hurricane beat them. September 4th, Atlanta. I will be in the building. I will be celebrating. I win. Blah, blah, blah. If y'all don't think Miami's going to win, I don't care. I'll cuss all y'all out in the comment section. Anyways, top 25 coaches poll. That's tough. That's That's it. That's it. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the like button. If you made it this far through this video, you a real trooper. You the real MVP. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share the, share, share, share the channel with somebody. Especially if it's a team that I've been talking trash to. Tell them, come on. I'll take on all y'all. Anyways, like, share, subscribe. T2I.